palm-sized formation of your Kundalini citrine quartz from the uh, Elwena deposit in the Congo. Some may say these hail from uh, Mansa in Zambia. Deposits are geologically uh, basically interlinking, uh, mining off the same ledge. Now what we have, this one isn't going to stand on its own, so it does need a stand. If you stand it flat like this, it's going to topple over. Absolutely natural citrine, so this hasn't been treated in any way. This is uh, as it occurs from Mother Nature and her assistance. What is always fascinating about these Kundalini citrine quartzes is when you look into the crystals, you'll see these little internal fractures which cause little rainbows as we move it around. Color-wise, we're looking at a, a pretty medium to dark uh, honey, honey yellow. Uh, sitting on top there would be some traces of girthite. Often this matrix or these crystals to some extent are held together by girthite from this particular deposit. All the way of course from the Congo, uh, Kundalini citrine quartz, not from the uh, Katanga. This would be from, from the southern, southern parts of the Congo, so not from the copper mines per se. Also, often we have interesting crystallization, and the quality of this piece is pretty got good. Often we have a lot of contact on, on the main crystal faces, because the transportation of these guys is usually a little bit haggard. Um, the guys wrap it in newspaper and whatever, and then the boxes bounce around.